prospects all around the world. It is the best time of the year. The IIHF World Juniors Championships. The best thing to watch during the holidays. So I thought it would be a perfect idea right now to throw Team Canada into the NHL, simulate a couple of years, and see how they do. Giving you a fair warning, all you Canadian fans. It's not looking good. 59 overall in the game. Um, coming off of their first uh, their first game in the in the, the tournament, losing to the Czech Republic. That was a tough loss, but they're probably the favorites in the tournament still, so I wouldn't be too worried. But let's take a look at this Team Canada roster. Edit lines. What do we have here? We got everyone from the opening night roster playing for Team Canada here. So what I did basically is I downloaded a country, uh, community file from uh, from the roster sharing, then created Team Canada and added all the players there. So I didn't create any players, didn't adjust any overalls. The only player that wasn't part of the game was Fant uh, Fantilli. And that's because he plays in the NCAA college, doesn't have rights yet. So someone created him and added him in and uh, we're going to rock with him. So Adam Fantilli, Fan Fantilli, I think is how you pronounce his name. I don't know too much about this kid, but from the first game I watched, he looked pretty damn good. 78 overall. Tried to go and do the Michigan. Almost got it, but got a stick slash. Nice defensive play from, from the defenseman. But he is probably going to be one of the better players in this series. 78 overall. High elite potential. So he's going to be growing really quick. 6'2", 187. And he is draft eligible this year. So definitely probably going to be a top five pick. And then in the middle, we have... The, the phenom, the, the next big thing, at least that's how everyone is touting him as. So Connor Bedard, 82 overall, superstar X Factor. I mean, franchise medium potential. He, he's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast in this 17 years old. Uh, so we'll see how Bedard does, and I imagine nothing but good things. And then on the right-hand side, they have Team Canada's captain, Shane Wright, the fourth overall draft pick last year. He is also high elite, 78 overall. So we'll see how that first line plays. That's really kind of... We're hoping for, for good things out of those three players. They're definitely going to be carrying the load of offense. On the second line, we have another NHLer, Dylan Gunter of the Arizona Coyotes, who is 75 overall at 19 years old. Uh, then we got Logan Stankoven, or Stankoven, however you pronounce it. Um, and then Nathan Gosher. Stankoven is actually, he was one of the more impressive players that we were watching uh, in game number one, so hopefully he can keep that up. I kind of want to see him playing where Shane Wright was playing. Shane Wright didn't have the greatest game one, but he did have two points, so can't hate on him. Third line, Brennan Othman, who is six foot, 174, 19 years old. Well, has he been drafted? Drafted to the New York Rangers last year in the first round. Then we got Josh Waugh, who was drafted to the Montreal Canadiens in the fifth round, which is a pretty good steal there. He is 66 overall. And then we have Kirby Doc's brother, Colton Dock, six foot four, two hundred pounds. He has been drafted by the Chicago Blackhawks. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like he'll be playing with his brother, um, as as they traded him away. But another, nonetheless, a good player there. And then the fourth line, Ostapachuk, who was drafted by the Ottawa Senators, the greatest team in the NHL. <laughs> and then Caden uh, Bankier, who was drafted by Minnesota. And then finally, Reed Schaefer, drafted by the Edmonton Oilers last year so that is the forward core so obviously very top heavy in the first line probably not even a great first line but in the future they're gonna be pretty good defensively we got Korchinski who did who was drafted by the Chicago Blackhawks with the trade that they made to get rid of Alex Dabrinkit Brant Clark of the LA Kings Zellwinger Maytier Hins Ooh, can we get I don't want the morale to be down I don't want the morale to be down well that's only minus one uh, and then we got Tyson Hins, who has been drafted by the Anaheim Ducks. And then finally, we got Nolan Allen, who does not look like he's 19 years old. He looks a lot older than that. He was drafted by Chicago Blackhawks. And then finally, Jack Maytier, who was Nashville Predators' final selection here. And then go into goaltenders. We got Thomas Millick, who is yeah not drafted yet. And then Benjamin Goudreau, who had an atrocious game number one uh, for Team Canada. But that is the squad. So I'm just going to simulate maybe, let's say, three to five years. And I'm imagining year one, let's say six wins, seven wins maybe. Let's get on to the simulation. You know what? Game one will slow simulate. 
game one, we will definitely slow simulate and see if Bedard can get on the board. But who do you think is going to win the World Juniors? Obviously, I have Team Canada winning it. But uh, the, every year, it just gets closer and closer and closer. That edge that Canada and the States had over everyone, it just no longer exists. So it's going to be a really interesting tournament, to say the least. There's already been a couple upsets with Finland losing, Team Canada losing. But game number one, Canada versus Anaheim. Let's see who will score the first goal of Team Canada's season. First period, down two to nothing, Comtois and, P and Perito. Second period, who is it? Our first goal comes on the power play, and it's none other than Brennan Ockman. Mason McTavish, the former Team Canada player from last year, gets a goal shorthanded. And to finish off the game, Silverberg scores one more. But that's okay, we scored a goal. All right, I'm going to simulate the rest of the year, and I'll catch you at the end of the year. With the first season coming to an end, Canada wins 16 games, 62 losses, 4 overtime losses, scored 2.48 goals per game, which is not as bad as I thought it would be. Only 4.89 against, power play percentage at 15%, worse than the division, but honestly not by too much. Penalty kill, I imagine, is not going to be good. Penalty kill, 73%, yeah, not the best. One short-handed goal. And uh, in our last 10, 1 and 9, how did the boys do? Connor Bedard, 90 points in 82 games. That's actually a really good season for Connor Bedard. 52 goals as well in his rookie season. He's up to an 88 overall. Wow, I was not expecting anyone to eclipse like the 50 point mark. Shane Wright has a good year too, 75 points, and he's up to an 85. And he's moved up to a franchise potential player as well. Remember, he was high elite. Fantilli. Uh, up to an 84 overall. So the team's growing. Stankoven is up to uh, 50 points, up to a 74. So we're going to see a lot of growth here. Dylan Gunter up to an 82. Not a lot of points on him. Minus 72 though. Oh my God. Uh, Korczynski, Brant Clark. We'll definitely look at the progress reports in a little bit. But who was our worst? Connor Bernard was our best. Owen or Olin Zellwinger. Tough year, my friend. Minus 87 but I imagine that uh, we may have picked up some hardware with uh, with the great Connor Bedard. Let's take a look. Oh my God! No, never mind. Nathan McKinnon. <laughs> Woo! Nathan McKinnon, 127 points. And if we go rookie skaters, I guess no uh, no data for rookie skaters. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting there. But let's go to awards. I click the same button once again. We obviously did not make the playoffs, but what do we got here? So Stanley Cup. Anything for Connor Bedard. Oh, Slavkovsky wins the Calder. How did Slavkovsky win the Calder? I got to see this. I got to see this. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long, but Montreal Canadiens, where are we at? Montreal, 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 Montreal. 92. No, where's Slavkovsky? 65 points. I just don't think they counted Bedard as a rookie. I think that's the only way that that would happen. But let's take a look at the progress reports and see how everyone drew. Progress reports for Team Canada. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of growing this year. A lot of growing led the way by Bedard, Wright, and Tilly. Uh, Gautier, Doc, grew a lot up to a 70. Solinger, Brant Clark, up to an 83. Uh, Goudreau, our goaltender, up to a 69. Uh, Alexander Chu, that's a bunch of players that don't play on our team. That's just part of, the, part of the roster. I'll make sure to keep it only Team Canada. But let's get into the draft here and see if we get the first overall pick. Uh, Team Canada goes to third overall. What can you do? So we'll simulate... Actually, we'll do it. We'll do we'll do the draft here quickly. Probably just do the first two rounds and then simulate the rest of it. So NHL entry draft. Let's start it up here. First overall is going to be Con well. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, we second overall Matt Tyv Mishkov and third overall. Who are we going to go with? I feel like I got to go with a, a Canadian. <laughs> Fantilini's right there. Benson. Do I want to go Fantilli or do I want to get a? Hmm. Who do I want to get? The question is, do we want to keep it all Canadian? I can get Adam Fantolini, but you know what? We got to keep it all Canadian, right? We got to keep it all Canadian. Let's trade this. Um, fine trade. Who wants this pick? Draft picks. First overall. I don't know what just happened. First overall, please and thank you. First and fine trade. No trades found. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
Okay, I'm just going to make my pick. I'll go with the best Canadian. I'm not going to go with Fantilini. I'm going to go with Zach Benson, most likely, just because we already have Fant uh, Fantilli on the team. Or we can go with a defenseman. Do we want a defenseman or a center? I'll go with the center. He's superstar X Factor. Zach Benson, welcome to the team. 75 overall. And uh, we're just going to keep Fantilini there. 78 overall. Bigris, 83. That's why I probably would have drafted Dvorsky. And I'll do one more pick here and see who we can get. Uh, Caden Price, sure, we're going to grab you, and you are top four. Okay, I'm going to simulate the rest, and I will see you at the, uh, we'll sign everyone, I'll see you in free agency. At free agency here, we're not going to, we're only bringing in players from Team Canada, or Canadian players, that's, you just got to, you got to ride with it. Joe Pavelski, that'd be a great one. Um, how many players do we have? Artem Zub, what a hero. I don't think anyone here, goaltenders, unless there's a good Canadian goaltender, Cam Talbot, pretty sure he's from Canada. Yeah, Cam Talbot would be nice, honestly. Cam Talbot would be very nice. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to keep the team how it is and let them keep growing. So I'm just going to sign a bunch of players like this just so we can fill up the AHL. And they're never going to make the NHL, so it doesn't really matter. But just going to make sure to get uh, about five or six of them. And one more. And we will go to the regular season. We'll see everyone's growth. Year two is here. And the first line is looking like a real deal first line. Now, Fantolini up to an 85 overall. Connor Bedard, 88 overall. Shane Wright, 88 overall. Gunter up to an 82 overall. Stankoven, uh, Stankoven up to a 76. Zach Benson, our first round pick, 75 overall. And then the rest of the squad here. We won't go too in-depth on them yet. Defensively, Korchinski, Brent, Brent Clark, Zellwinger, Maytier, um, Ethan Del Mastro, and then Nolan Allen. So a lot of overall jumps for everyone. No one's in the 60s anymore, which is very nice to see, uh, except for Osta Pachuk. Uh, and then goaltenders, Goudreau up to a 73. So let's again, you know, we got to slow some like game number one. And maybe this time we'll see a Connor Bedard goal. That would be nice. But 88 overall for Bedard and Shane Wright. Shane Wright goes from high elite to medium franchise, so that's really good. And it's kind of good we didn't get the first overall pick because now we don't need to have two Bedards. It just makes more sense that way. Um, okay, okay. And who do we have? Arizona for game number one. Once again, let's see if we, you know, we could start off 1-0. Our team has never been above 500, so this would be a perfect time to get started here. Arizona at Canada. First period down 2 nothing. Second period down 4 nothing. Oh, no, we scored. Sorry, who scored for us? It was Gunter against his former team. I just assumed that was, uh, that was Arizona because that's where he came from. All right, 4-1 to loss. Last year was 5-1, so a little bit of improvement there. I will see you at the end of year number two. With year two coming to a close, honestly... Canada has a really good season, 77 points in 82 games, 34 wins, 39 losses, 3.2 goals, 4 per game. Goals against is the problem defensively, and goaltending-wise, we are not the best, if I'm being honest here. But 5-5 five and five in our last 10, a positive record on home ice. I mean, a really good season for Canada, if you ask me. For points, Connor Bedard eclipses the 100-point mark for the first time in his career, 62 goals. 51 helpers for 113 points only a minus seven this year so we're getting there slowly but surely shane wright 96 points bedard is up to a 92 overall shane wright 91 overall and then fantilli, fantilli 92 points up to an 88 overall so that first line is quickly becoming the best first line in hockey if you ask me gunter comes back with a 76 point season 87 overall stankoven 81 overall now. Benson, 82 in his rookie season, 49 points. Brant Clark, 85. We're starting to see all the 80s come out now. And then our what is Osta Pachuk was our worst player overall wise. Now he's 73 overall. So a pretty good year again for uh, for the Canadian boys here. And if we go into the entire league here, does Connor Bedard? Oh, Mika Zibanejad. Connor Bedard, two points off winning most likely the Hart Trophy. Uh, let's take a look at the awards here. See if Bedard picked up any hardware. Individuals, Zaban and Jad. Oh, wow. The Rangers cleaned up. Fantilli for the Arizona Coyotes wins. Um, the Calder. Nothing for our boys, though. 
All right. Oh, Connor Bedard. There it is. The Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy. So the first trophy we get is the Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy. And let's get into the NHL entry draft. We'll see if we get any selection here. So we have the eighth overall pick. So we just got to pick a Canadian boy at eighth. And then we will continue the simulation here. So let's go continue simming, continue, 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 and start NHL entry draft. First overall will be a franchise potential player, sniper, simulate to eight overall, and let's see what we got available. So it looks like the first one we can go with is Nathan Villa, Villeneuve. He's a center. We can also go with defenseman, which wouldn't be a bad one. Henry Muse. Uh, we got Matthew Virgilio, but this guy's superstar X Factor. I'm going to make that pick there. And he is a medium elite 76 overall. So I love to see that. And we will auto draft the rest. Year three is here and the boys are getting huge overall boost here. Fantanilli, 88 overall, Bedard, 92, Shane Wright, 91, Villanova, 76, Zach Benson, 82, Gunter, 87. Just look at the squad here. Everyone is starting to become beast. Defensively, Zellwinger, Brant Clark. Ooh, Zellwinger is over past Brant Clark and put in overall. Surprising there. Surprising, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Allen and then Ethan Del Mastro. So I definitely need to work on my defenseman. And goaltender, look at that. Benjamin Gaudreau is up to a 78 overall. So good for him. And this guy's not Canadian. How did he get up on the team? That's fine. He's not going to play any games. Actually, I'll make that change. I'll make the change. I'll make the change. First time Canada does make the Stanley Cup playoffs, but we get swept four to nothing versus the Minnesota Wild. We go 41, 36, and five. Connor Bedard puts up 120 points, 68 goals. So on his career, he now has 323 points in 246 games played. In those 246 games, he has 100. And 82 points, which is or 182 goals, sorry, which is insane. Fantilli is up to 103 points, 90 overall now. Shane Wright, 95 points. Dylan Gunter, 96. Zach Benson, 59. Stan Coven, uh, 53. Villanova, 43 in his rookie season. Doc. So really, we just gotta work on our defense. I think that's the big, big challenge right now. But Connor Bedard, you're an absolute beauty so far in this franchise mode. Going to the entire league. And it looks like Connor Bedard does lead the NHL in scoring this year for the first time, which is pretty cool. Look at Josh Norris, 188 assists. The Brain Cat had a good year, Connor McDavid. And then let's go take a look at the awards and see if this is our first year where we collect some more hardware. Connor Bedard, Art Ross. Hart Trophy goes to the Brain Cat, though, over Connor Bedard, which I don't even know how that makes sense. Adam Fox, the Brain Cat, anything else here? Look at that. Coach of the year is uh, is Team Canada. Selkie, Debrinkat, Maurice Rocker-Richard goes to Connor Bedard. So we got screwed. Debrinkat, Ted Lindsay. But well, that's okay. That's okay here. And I will see you guys for year number four in just a bit. In our final season of this franchise mode, this is the roster. It is looking beautiful. Adam Fantin. Fantolini, 91 overall. Connor Bedard, 96 overall now. Shane Wright, 91. Villanueva, up to an 83. Zach Benson, up to an 86. Gunter, 88. Stan Coven, 84. Colton Dock, 84. Zach Dean, 80. Osprey Chuck, jo Josh Waugh, and then Othman, 78, 76, 79. And then defenseman, we picked up a superstar. Okay, this guy was available in free agency. He's a good Canadian kid. Um, so he's going to be playing in that top line with Brand Clark to add a little bit more firepower. Then we got Nolan Allen, Korchinski, L, Ethan Del Mastro, and Zellwinger. And then in the cage, we added a little bit more firepower here. Again, free agency, Logan Thompson from Canada. So we got him in there playing with Benjamin Gaudreau. But Benjamin Gaudreau's development has been pretty damn good. Look, his potential went from backup to starter. So he's been really good for us. But for the last year, we're going to bring in Logan Thompson, see if he can help out there and have a 1A, 1B. I'll actually have Benjamin Gaudreau as the starter. But let's get into it. The final year. We made the playoffs last year. Can we do it once again? Canada versus Calgary. Our overall is now up to 99, 88, 85. So our offense is looking stacked. But defensively and goaltender-wise, not the greatest. But 
I think we did take a big step in both defensemen and, and goaltenders. But first period here, three, nothing. Power play goal from Bedard. Shane Wright scores two goals. Four nothing Osterchuk and then four to one. So Gaudreau only lets in for one in his first game. But I will see you at the end of the year and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we are Stanley Cup champions. In the final season, Canada once again does make the Stanley Cup playoffs, but we fall in game seven to the Vancouver Canucks. We had a really good year, I thought. 47, 24, and 11. Bedard puts up another 100-point season. 112 points, right 95. And Pantilli, 94. Chicharin, 72. Clark, 57. Look at that. It's just basically the first line right there. First line forward, first line deep pairing. So didn't really get the depth scoring this year, which is unfortunate. Um, leading the way, though, do... Connor Bedard once again lead the league in scoring. I don't imagine. No, he finished third place, but he put up 70 goals. I missed that. 70 goals for Connor Bedard. The guy is an absolute phenom. But that is going to do it for the Team Canada franchise mode. Let me know who you think is going to win the World Juniors in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, wonderful Christmas, a wonderful everything. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.